This episode is brought to you by Experian. Are you paying for subscriptions you don't use, but can't find the time or energy to cancel them? Experian could cancel unwanted subscriptions for you, saving you an average of $270 per year and plenty of time. Download the Experian app. Results will vary. Not all subscriptions are eligible. Savings are not guaranteed. Paid membership with connected payment account required. What will we find in today's Thursday thrillers here on the Mutual Audio Network? A few baffling mysteries? Perhaps a touch of murder? Let's find out. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Hurry! It's raining like crazy out here. You are the queen of obvious, my friend. Shut up and let's go. The car is right over there. We could have stayed at the apartment and studied, you know. I like the library better. Come on. Wow, that lightning was close. That's why we run for it! Let's wait it out inside. I'm ready for a cup of coffee and my pajamas. You're a nut, you know that? On three. If you say so. One. I think I'm vetoing and going back in the library. Two. Ava, call me crazy, but this storm is... What? That? How descriptive of you. I'm serious, something doesn't seem right about it. It's a spring storm. We have them every year. Come on, Sophia. Quit being spooked and let's go home. I still have a paper to write for Brooks's class. Yeah, okay. You're right. I'm running on too little sleep and too many caffeine pills. Let's go. That's the spirit. And three! Ava! Hey, wait up! Ava? It's really starting to pour down. Why don't you come back? Ava! Ava? Ava! No, 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 no! The lightning! Help! Somebody! My friend just got struck by lightning! Help! There you are. I'm going to ask the cliché, but... Where am I? Hospital. Uh, My head. Yeah, and probably all over. What happened? You were struck by lightning. Sophia! Her shift ended an hour ago. Your parents, me, and Sophia have been taking turns sitting up with you. Are my folks here? Probably out in the waiting room. I'll go get them. I feel like I've been clobbered. Be thankful. For what? That you're alive. That's an unpleasant thought. But an accurate one. Not to pick an old wound, but are you okay with me being here? Are you going to try to use this as a chance for us to get back together? No, not at all. Sophia thought I would want to be here. Caring for someone doesn't mean that they want to be a thing, Ava. A thing. I like that. Sorry. Don't apologize. I'm half out of it. I'll go get your folks. Thanks. And Liam? Yeah? Thanks for being here. I mean it. I appreciate it. Of course. Oh. What is it? Why does my back hurt so much? The doctor says the impact of the lightning hit you right between your shoulder blades. That's why it hurts. I'll be right back. My parents? Disappointed in me? I'm sure. My best friend and an ex. In a lightning strike. I think this may be an omen. You're up early. I thought you'd want to sleep in. Believe it or not, I actually got sleep in the hospital. Miracle of miracles. And speaking of miracles... Don't even mention his name. I thought it was nice he was there. Because you called him. So I called him. Past history isn't my thing. 
He loves you. It has to be reciprocated. Yeah, I get it. He's horrible. Treated you right, spent time with you, did whatever you wanted, didn't expect anything physical. Who can explain it? Yeah, what a jerk. I sense your sarcasm. That's good. I'll be glad when I heal up. Hurting? Yeah, and itchy. That means you're healing. I hate to ask. And yet you're going to. Would you mind putting some of that cream on my back? You're joking, right? I only wish I were. This is going to cost. Ooh. Just for future reference, don't get struck by lightning. Got it. Shirt? Slather it all over. Uh, Ava? What? Something isn't right. Not at all. I'm telling you, he practically lives here. He's also weird. With what's on her back, he seems like the best choice. Like I had any say-so in this. I get it. You don't want me around. You made that perfectly clear. Liam, can we limit this to my situation, please? Ouch. Vicious. No, she's right. I'm sorry. I really am concerned with what's happening to you. You should be. Ava. Sorry, I'm just freaking a bit here. Anyone would. Through here. Does anyone even know about this room here in the library? Elijah does. And just so you know, it's Elijah, not Eli. He hates that. Great. They have three lights in this whole place. I kid you not. The older part of the stacks. Let's face it. Most students here at the college do their research online. Are we playing hide-and-seek with this guy? Didn't you call and tell him we were coming? He did. There you are. Here I am. Hi, everybody. Elijah Glassman. Sophia Anders. Ava Sellen. And you know me. Sadly. Have a seat. You went back to the doctor, Ava? It's the first thing I did. She couldn't explain it. Everyone here seen it? I haven't. She didn't want me to. It's my back, Liam. I'm not in the habit of lifting my shirt for everybody who comes along. I was only saying... You talk to your parents about this? I choose not to. I think it's just a trick of the eyes. Ava, it's not a trick of the eyes. I took a picture of it and showed it to you. And I think it's still... You know what? Let's just forget this whole thing. I'm not comfortable with this. I'm out of here. That's your prerogative, of course. I get it. We live in a day and age where empirical evidence rules every moment of our lives. If we see something that doesn't compute with our senses in the way that we expect it to, we reject it. It's automatic. We push it aside. I understand that completely. I just reached a point where I wanted to dig below the surface. Our ancestors viewed the universe differently. They had faith in things that we laugh at. I get it. I don't agree with it, but I know where it comes from. I will say this, though. Not everything fits with our explanations of it. It's not always that simple, and let's face it. I'm no expert, but I am willing to have an open mind. My encouragement is that you should, too. Where do you find your friends, Liam? In the deep, dark shadows of the lost stacks of the library. I thought that was obvious. So? Ava? Yeah, okay. It's so dark in here. Usually just the way I like, but I take your point. Here, I'll use this light on my phone. Wow. So? Unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. You're not supposed to be looking, Liam. Give it a rest, Ava. I'm having a tough time wrapping my mind around this. I thought you just said you'd tried to have an open mind. It's open. But this is something else entirely. How did this even happen? That may be the wrong question. Why is much better to ponder. So, why then? Not a clue. Thanks a lot. Can you at least tell me what it is? I'm not 100%. Great. Give the guy a break. As I said, I'm not completely sure, but I think it just might be a map. Are you sure this is a good idea? I'm here, aren't I? And as I observe, so are you. 
Get on board. This is crazy, Elijah. What about the map on your girlfriend's back? What do you call that? Let's go. And she's not my girlfriend. It's interesting to note that you're more focused on that little piece of info instead of the instant tattoo on her back. We were once a thing. You don't say, Sid. How can we even afford this trip? We can't. I, sadly, and to my embarrassment, have parents who are loaded, and I am their only offspring. You're lucky I had my passport. Let me guess. You got it for a mission trip. I did. Then this trip will be right up your alley. We're going to Egypt. Egypt? In this puddle jumper? We'll catch a commercial flight in Miami. Where in Egypt? Sinai. St. Catherine's Monastery Library. <laughs> You'll love it. Been around for 1,500 years. My sentiments as well. Want anything before we take off? I think they stock- I want you to tell me what you think is on her back and why it's on there. To the second question, no idea. At this point, I wouldn't even hazard a guess. And to the first? Huh. Liam, if I told you what I thought about what is etched on your former lover's back, you'd jump out of this plane right now. So, no sharing. We follow the paper trail, or papyrus, or tree bark, or whatever, and then I'll share. Elijah, she is scared out of her mind right now. If it's what I think it is, she should be. Now, why don't you sit back and get some sleep? We've got a long flight ahead of us. Hey, hey, I'm home. You would not believe my trig class today. He told us... Uh, hello? You taking off somewhere? I was hoping to be gone by the time you got back. Going back home to visit your folks? I don't know where I'm going, but I am sure don't want to stay here. Give me a minute and I'll pack my... No. Sophia, I appreciate it and all. I really do. But this is way beyond me. Or you. Or Liam's weirdo friend who has an aversion to sunlight. Who is going halfway around the world to try and help you. Is he? What do you... Is he really? I think I'm just another artifact to put under the microscope. And I'm not about to let that happen. Do his motives really matter to you? What kind of question is that? A sensible one, I should think. If he finds out the answer, it's still the answer. And then what happens to me, huh? Have you asked yourself that question? Yes. I don't know. He could share with a professor here on campus who would like to take a peek and write a paper about me. We wouldn't let that happen. Now you're getting on the right track. That's why I'm out of here. How much money do you have? Enough. I doubt that very seriously. Here, let me give you what I've got. It's not much. Sophia, don't. Please. Really. I... You've always done so much for me. Yeah? And? You're my... I know. I just... I have never been this scared in my entire life. I have an aunt who lives in Oakland. She'll put you up. No problem. And you think that would stop all of this? Frankly, no. Only delay it. What? The inevitable. Meaning? You'll have to find out what the thing is on your body. You'll have to know what it means. What for? I don't think that's a question you can answer. Not yet, anyway. Let's hope Liam and Elijah found something. So, stay then? Do I get a vote in this? You know you do. Stay. Stay? Yep. Okay. I'll help you unpack. There's hardly any light in this place. Just perfect for you. Can I help it if the sunlight and I don't get along? Blame it on my love of books. And the arcane. Well, there's that, sure. Are you going to open the book or what? Put on those gloves. This tome is 600 years old. Doesn't look a day over five. Five and a half. Your humor escapes me. How did they get this? With it being European in origin, you mean? And we just happen to be in Egypt. No one knows. More than likely, part of war booty. That's how a lot of things moved around in the medieval world. This would be later medieval then. Very good. You see the strokes here? The large capital letters beginning each page? 
Beautiful. Produced by a monk in a monastery somewhere. And what about the librarians here? What's their guess? You won't like the answer. And neither will Ava. I meant to tell you. She tried to take it off. I'm not surprised. Sophia sent an email and let me know. Ava's scared. She has good reason to be. So am I, Elijah. No one said anything about any of this. I mean, where it came from. You're thinking somewhere along the lines of magic? You said it, not me. I don't believe in magic, Liam, if that's what you're worried about. Science can't explain it. It explains very little when it comes right down to it. To save time, let's just say that... I believe there are forces, much higher than ourselves, that take an interest in the lives of we mere mortals. Oh great, here it comes. No, that's all. So, where do they think this book was made? First, you need to realize the information here is originally Greek. Meaning that the knowledge dates back to... Probably 2300 BC. But this is a book that was... Yeah, yeah. But remember, that's how knowledge got recorded. Monks produced massive libraries protecting as much knowledge as they could. And preserving it. That's right. And when books wore out, were damaged, or decayed because of the passage of time... A copy was made. So... So, this is, most likely, several copies away from the original manuscript. Meaning the info is faulty. Let's just say we'll take it with a grain of salt. But... Where was it made? Don't hold out on me. They believe it came from a monastery on the island of Patmos. Patmos? Mean anything to you? Should it? Never go to Sunday school? Not once. It shows. What's so special about Patmos? It's where St. John wrote his famous apocalypse. His what? The book of Revelation from the Bible. Oh, just great. At least you know about John's revelation. And the connection? Did I say there was one? Many believe it's a very powerful place. Some say connected. Connected to what? For lack of a better word, the cosmos. Hey, wait a minute, Elijah. That's it. That's what's on Ava's back. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of that. Neither will Ava. Why? What is it? The map to the netherworld. The netherworld? Or a better name for it is the underworld. The Kingdom of the Dead. Well? No go. She say why? She took a look at it and says there isn't any way she can remove it all with her laser setup. They can with other tattoos. She says this isn't a tattoo. Not in any traditional sense. What does that mean? No ink. But the colors, they're so vivid. Yeah, I know. She wanted to know how I got it. Please tell me you didn't tell her. Of course not. She wanted to know who did it, the artist. And I guess telling her God would be too confusing? Or flippant. This is beginning to be too much for me. I know. Just hang in there. You didn't tell Liam I was trying to remove it, did you? Not on your life. And if Elijah found out, I'm not sure what he would do. He's going to great lengths to help you. Is he? They did fly half a world away, Ava. Tell me that everything happens for a reason. That's not exactly my philosophy. I'm more of an existentialist. Tell me anyway. Sure. Everything happens for a reason. What's the reason for this? I don't know. But I know a couple of guys who are in another country trying to track down the answer. That should make me feel better, shouldn't it? That's why I said it. It doesn't. <sighs> I hear ya. You know what? I could use a belly buster sized cappuccino right about now. Count me in, and I know just the place. I haven't seen the sun in so long. Ugh. Library eyes. We'll go back in after we've had a breather. I've been waiting. For what? Story time. Oh. Virgil's The Aeneid. An epic poem written in Latin. Yeah, yeah. What about the story? In one passage, the hero, Aeneas, goes to the underworld through a cave in Italy. After going through the entrance where grief 
anxiety, diseases, old age, fear, and other creatures dwell. He came to the elm from which false dreams cling. Next, he came to the river Acheron where he saw the souls of the unburied. That's it? He eventually made it to the underworld itself to see his father. He also saw souls yet to be born and those about to be reborn. He got what he needed and continued on with his quest. Ava hasn't had a parent die on her. That may not have anything to do with it. What does, Elijah? How am I supposed to know? There are some mysteries where- Quit feeding me that crap. This is a girl's life we're talking about. This is all our lives, Liam. What we find most important and what we believe in. Quit being cryptic. I don't know what else to tell you. She's been given a map. From what I can tell, the same one given to Aeneas in a fictional tale told a long time ago. It's nuts. I won't argue with you on that. Why did it happen? No idea. Me? I would take it as a gift. And do what? Nope. I don't like the look on your face. You and I can fly to Italy tomorrow and get the girl's ticket on the next- No. She isn't going to want to do that. It's a mythical cave, Elijah. Okay. Okay? Simple as that? We found the answer. We know what it is. We have the proof for it sitting in there in that library. Wonderful. Just great. So now she can just live knowing what it is, but get on with living? With you, you mean? No, I don't mean- Why are you here, Liam? That's the real question, isn't it? For you, anyway. You can't swoop in and save the day on this one. Not on your life. I love her. Perfectly clear. Everyone knows it and sees it. But she doesn't- I know that too. So now what do you do? Go on loving her. In hopes she'll give in? Maybe? The only things in life worth anything require suffering to get or achieve. Suffering is at the core of everyone's life. She didn't want to suffer for me. I hear you. And if we do this and go in there, it's possible we will face more suffering than any of us have ever experienced in our lives. But? I don't have one. Life is suffering. I, for one, am going to at least have a say about it. Meaning she should go? And we go with her. All of us. You, me, Sophia. Elijah. You want to make the call or me? No alternative? Sure. We don't go. And then what? Not a clue. You tell me. I'll make the call. You guys take us to the nicest places. You're welcome. We're going to have a stay here and ride it out. A sandstorm in this place? Is Italy known for having sandstorms? We aren't meant to be here. Don't say that, Ava. It's true. Don't you feel it? I felt it all the way over here on the plane. I felt nothing thanks to all those tiny little bottles of- I said all along that we shouldn't be messing with this. And yet you're here. Only because- Because why? Answers, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. Answers to what? The obvious, Liam. What's been burned on my back and why? And yes, Elijah, I know that why may not matter. But I'm asking it. Why? In the ancient world- Don't give me that. Not right now. What else? What? Oh, you mean finding answers. Yeah, as in plural. About me, what I am, who I am, and Liam. Me? Don't get your hopes up, Liam. Matters of the heart can't be mapped. Maps to the netherworld, sure, but not about us. No, I agree. You love me? That's why I've come this far. I love you too, Ava. Love. It makes us all do stupid things, I guess. What about you, Elijah? I don't love you. No offense. None taken. Your love of learning, then? My love of what isn't known. Let's put it that way. Whoa. That was a big blast of air. I'm beginning to agree with Ava. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be here. I hate to tell you, but something, or someone, sent an engraved invitation. Right on my back. I can't believe that we're actually waiting to find a cave that's the entrance to the underworld. How idiotic I feel all of a sudden. I heard that. But here we are. Who knows? It could just be a cave. 
Do you believe that? Not on your life. I'm just trying to ease the anxiety. That's eerie. Blowing like crazy and then nothing. Listen to that. So quiet I can hear my own heart beating. Let me check where we are. Compass shows we're right on track. It should be right over the crest of that ridge. Where's everyone else lined up to find this place? I think it was said best when it was called an invitation. There's something there that you need to see, Ava. Something that you have to be a part of. What? I wish I knew. But something? Everyone ready? Right behind you. Man, it's as clear as it can be. Like there wasn't a sandstorm at all here just a couple of minutes ago. The breath of the gods. Very funny. <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny, Sophia. No, not that. It, it just hit me about our buddy Elijah here. Something profound? I don't know. Maybe. All that time in Sunday school just paid off. Oh yeah. I didn't make that connection until you said something. Connection to what? Elijah was an Old Testament prophet from the Bible. He prayed that it wouldn't rain, and it didn't for three and a half years. Brought a kid back from the dead. And was carried off by God in a fiery chariot and didn't see death. Did your parents know that story when they named you? They did, indeed. You were the perfect choice then to lead me here. To lead all of us here. I don't know about that. I do. It's suddenly very clear. I'm not afraid anymore. Is that it? Where? Right on the crest of the ridge, there. It looks like a cave in the side of the- That's it, Liam. Yes? Hold my hand, please. Of course. Flashlights? Check. Flares? Yeah, but I'm not sure if we'll need them. We might. You never know. You guys can stay outside and wait for me, too. Not on your life. We take every step you take. And if this is the end... of everything? Of us? Then you had someone with you when you left this Earth. And many never get that chance. So, do we keep talking about it, or do we get on with it? You ready, Ava? Ready. It's beautiful in there. Look. I see. It's golden. You have been listening to Stage Struck Audio Theater's production of Netherworld in the cast as Ava, Courtney Wages, as Sophia, Caroline Bozen, as Elijah, Philip Hansen, and Liam, Chasten Simmons. Script by Brett Jones. Stage Struck Audio Theater is a production of Wichita State University Theater Department. Classical and brand new audio dramas through the Mutual Audio Network. Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, or iHeartRadio today. There's eight different podcasts, one for each day of the week and genre. And the Mutual Audio Network broadcast feed so you don't miss a day of your favorite shows. Subscribe to Mutual Audio tonight. Good night!